Hey guys, we're back with uh, another episode of repairing this big old boat. <laughs> um, it's just uh, little maintenance items that we got to take care of. And uh, the other day I was driving around and I noticed the steering wheel was kind of clunky. It would like you'd turn a little bit and it would bump, 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 bump. And I noticed down here below the helm, we had some drippy going on uh, all the way across coming out from behind here. So we took apart the, um, the dashboard and discovered that the pump has a seal that's gone bad on the inside of it. And with these Teleflex hydraulic uh, uh, pump systems, it's pretty common. So I went ahead and bought myself a seal kit, which is still over there. We'll show it to you in a second. Uh, it just has a, front, a couple of seals and we're gonna take this apart and see exactly uh, uh, where the problem is. So the first thing you gotta do is get this steering wheel off. And now I've cheated, I've pulled the nut off already and I went ahead and tapped the end here uh, to be able to get it loose. What I did is I used a, um, an extension. You don't want to damage the threads around here. You just want to put it on here and then you tap gently with a hammer to get this to pop off because it's a tapered fit. So you, it's going to be on there kind of tough. So once you pull this thing off, you just start disassembling little bits at a time by pulling that piece off. And uh, my screw is broken off on here so this piece comes off really easily. This just pops off just like that. And that leaves us to this. This is our tilt mechanism. And the seal that we're trying to get to is back in here. So what we're going to do is we've got to take off these four little nuts right here. So I'll get my... <laughs> I opened my socket set wrong. Oh well. Now we've got to take off this little uh, Allen screw back in here. It's a 5 seconds it looks like. And this is what holds the universal joint onto the pump shaft. Okay. And I've already taken off those four bolts. This thing should pull right off just like that awesome so now oh. well you may notice that uh, now we have this thing torn completely apart uh, what I didn't show you is how we got this out of the helm uh, but it turns out that we need to do a lot more work it turns out the leak was from the rear of the pump and I bought a whole kit, so we're going to put all the seals in here now just to do it right and make sure it's 100%. So what I did originally, see this is, the, this is the pump and how it fits together right here. You notice I put two marks here to keep so that way I know exactly where it is index wise. And then this is what goes on the inside. This is how the pump works. If you look inside, you see that this bearing race right here is actually angled. And what it does is it attaches to this and pushes each one of these down. As you rotate, these things go down in succession and create the pumping action, which what it's doing is it's actually pumping out on my hand. So it, it, that's how you get your hydraulic flow. Well, apparently these seals have gone bad. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace all of the seals in this thing so that way we're 100%. And the main one is this rear seal, which is right here. And it's just a nasty, gooey, gross shape. You can see that it's no longer dry, it's all wet, so it's leaking out. That's going to go away, so we're going to make sure we clean this very, very good around the edge, so when we tighten it down, it's not going to leak. Right now, we're doing the easiest one. I don't know if it's the easiest one or not, but putting in the front seal. It just takes these three little screws out, pop this up, and you can see here's your front shaft seal. The shaft seal. This is actually the one that actually that fails the most. And so what we do is we go over here to our Teleflex kit. It actually feels kind of nasty. I'm gonna store these out of the way. Get our other one. Make sure your uh, items don't blow away. Pop that down in there. I'm gonna take a little bit of hydraulic fluid and put it around the inside here just so it'll lubricate itself whenever you put it together. Just pop it in there. Wipe the mess off.
Okay, that's one seal down. There's two more seals underneath this guy. You pull it up. You'll see that they're right over in here. Yeah. Over in there. Watch out. Okay, yeah, there's a there's a little spring in there, guys. You can be very careful that it does not come out. So we're gonna take I'm gonna run and get a little flathead screwdriver. We're gonna pry those off and replace them. I'll be back in a second. All right, so take a little screwdriver like this and just slide it up underneath that O-ring, pull it off. Same thing with this one. This can be just a teensy bit troublesome and fiddly. But if you persevere, you get up underneath there. There's one and two. Throw those over here in our non-used pile. Reach back into our kit here. Slide on the new O-rings. There we go. On to the next one. Be careful, these things have got little check balls and springs in there. Let me pull these things apart. Yeah, and these are torn too. Make sure you use the right O rings. When you pull off the old ones, match them to the new ones just to make sure because there are different diameters of these guys. Put it back in, just make sure your ball's in that little socket down there. Sometimes easier said than done. There you go. That's done. Okay, now we've got this thing back together. Um, I just basically slid this in, and it has a bearing race in there, and it takes like eight hands to do it, so we didn't video it. But you put those little things that have the pistons, which is right here, you just hold it sideways and just slide it in here and it goes through that seal. You see it's kind of spring loaded here. That's how it works. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this guy and put it onto here with this bearing race. You see here's our new seal. And so we're gonna take this and put it over here. But the thing is, I do believe is gonna take more than just me to do this. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, my seal came loose. Phew. You know, they probably have a special tool for this. Ugh, now I got them started. <sighs> My hand is killing me. <laughs> All right, so that's about it. You look around here, make sure we don't have any extra parts <laughs> hanging out. I think we are good to go. I'm going to put this down and get Dad to help me hold this thing, and uh, we'll tighten all these hold these um, screws up really good, and we'll throw it back in the boat. Okay. So here we have our fully assembled, rebuilt pump, or at least with new seals. And uh, I took a picture earlier of uh, how this went together, so that's the reason why I'm just kind of tearing into it here. <clears throat> put both of these on here. It's going to take more than one hand or two hands, so we're just going to put both of these on here and get it mounted back into our helm. And I'll be back in a second. We'll make sure this get it all filled up, make sure it doesn't leak. 
So I've got the pump back in and uh, to kind of show you how this thing came out. Um, it just takes these three little um, the screws right here and they are half inch and I'm just going to tighten them back up and that's all that holds this pump in this helm. Um, you have a pump plate here. That's pretty much it. You notice here's the fill reservoir. Oh. And don't buy cheap tools at Northern Tool. They don't work very well. All right, so now you take your tilt mechanism, which is right here, and we're gonna clean it up a little bit because it was full of dirt daubers and cobwebs and everything else in here. You just line it up with the shaft there You'll tilt it down because you need to put this little screw in here, which is that Allen wrench we took out a few minutes ago. It goes right down in that little hole right there. What it does is it goes through the, the shaft that we just put the seal on. So that way you can't, now even if these bolts are not in here, I can't, pull this off. So now we just reverse all of our installation procedures by putting these washers back on. And tighten it up. One thing you have to remember whenever you uh, put this thing all back together is you need to refill it with power steering fluid. Um, this is uh, actually pretty easy to do. Um, because I didn't drain the whole system, I don't really need to bleed it from the back. Actually, you go back to the rudders, which are way back underneath there, um, and there's a little bleeder screw that you're able to do. But since we just took it out of here, what, I'm, what I did is it actually has a little um, uh, a top that goes on here, and you take a little thumb tack and you pierce this at the bottom, and you hold it upside down, and you squeeze it as you turn the steering wheel back and forth. Uh, you go all the way back and forth and what it's going to do is it'll work the bubbles into here and then come out that little thumbtack hole. Don't want to turn it upside down without putting thumbtack back in it because you will make a mess. Been there, done that. And all it does is it goes in this little spot right here. You unthread that, it goes in, real simple, turn it back and forth five or six times or however many it takes till you get a nice firm feel and it's not bumping all the way across. You want it to be smooth like this and you can turn it all the way one way and it'll stop. And that means you've hit the full lock. Let's see if we can go back this other way. So I know it's a lot of turns, but there you go. And it's not, and I've had it out already, and it works perfectly. So definitely remember to uh, put the power steering fluid back in it. Otherwise, it ain't going to turn. Well, as you can see, I got it all back together. I uh, took it out for a test drive, and everything was perfect. We had no leaking whatsoever out of the bottom. So obviously, it was just a seal. So guys, it just goes to show you, pretty easy, about uh, two, three hours of the work, replaced a complete helm seal kit in a uh, Telflex hydraulic steering cylinder. See you next time.